Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. I'm Mark O'Donnell, visionary at EOS Worldwide. I'm also a former EOS implementer. And I'm CJ Dubay, expert EOS implementer and community leader for EOS Worldwide. And I am so excited to have you all here today to talk about EOS implementation. So CJ, tell me a little bit about your story as an experienced entrepreneur and how you came into EOS. I spent 25 years in the placement industry. And I actually once upon a time did work for the large international staffing firm. And quite honestly, what was happening to me is the layers kept going and going and going and I was getting more and more and more frustrated. And so then I left and with two great partners launched an HR contract consulting business, which we grew from zero to eight million in three years. Nice. And then after the 08 recession in 09, I sold my interest in that business. And there I was, now what am I gonna be when I grow up? I really wasn't sure, okay? But I was also a member of Entrepreneurs Organization where a lot of my peers were saying, CJ, read the book Traction, read the book Traction. And as every busy person that's an entrepreneur in this world, I kept saying, yeah, sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Well, then I sat down and I read the first chapter and I went, oh. Then I actually read the whole book and I realized I did some things really well and other things I could have definitely done better, for sure. So then I went and I embarked on implementing EOS in one of my baby businesses, because I also owned a massage center <laughs> with 15 employees. And that's where I started learning about EOS between my entrepreneurial partners at, e at EO and just decided that, you know what? I'm gonna do their webinar. So I did the webinar and with Don Tinney, who was our previous integrator. After I got off that webinar, I absolutely went out to the living room and I said to my husband, I know what I'm doing for the rest of my life. Nice. <laughs> and then I went to boot camp, I drank the Kool-Aid, and here I am 12 years later, absolutely still obsessed and loving being an implementer. And for me, when I learned about EOS, I read the first chapter, I joined boot camp and fell in love with the, the community. I always joke that it, uh, I either accidentally joined a cult or I was surrounded with my people for the very first time in my entire career and maybe even my entire life. And so it was just a transformational experience for both me personally and professionally coming into the community. So we talked a little bit about what an EOS implementer is. Let's talk a little bit about what EOS is. Sure, absolutely. So EOS ultimately is something that helps a company get real simple results. Mm -hmm. There's three things. There's the model, the toolbox, and our proven process. So the model is six key components that every company, every business is focused on getting to 80% strong on. The toolbox is made up of 20 strong tools to help them be better, to break through the ceilings that they want to break through. And the process, what I love about the process, it gives us, myself as an implementer and all of our companies, the structure to make sure that's happening. Mm -hmm. So they are hitting the stride, breaking through ceilings and hitting that 80% strong. So CJ, if you could just give us an explanation of who an implementer is. An implementer actually comes from many different backgrounds. The key thing is entrepreneurship. They've either been an owner, they have been on a leadership team of an entrepreneurial company, but the key thing is they love entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And really, an implementer is three things. A teacher, a facilitator, and a coach. So they're teaching the tools to all of the companies that they're working with that are in front of them. They're facilitating what's happening in the room mm -hmm. to make sure everyone's staying on track. And they're coaching, like every great coach, right? I've had coaching before. They point out the things I maybe I'm not doing quite right, I need to improve on. That's what we're doing for our companies. We're coaching them how to break through ceilings and get better and better. And they get to see the game of entrepreneurship every single day. So yes. they, can, they have that perspective, that objective point of view where they can do be a teacher, teaching the EOS tools, facilitating yes. what's in the room, and then helping them just up their game just a little bit better each and every time. Tell me a little bit about the day in the life of an EOS implementer. Sure, Mark. Well, first of all, I just wanna say that 
when we are working with our companies that we're working with, we have a proven process. So yeah. we ultimately are doing five days a year with our clients. We do full day sessions. So ultimately a session is seven hours, mm -hmm. plus or minus an hour. So I, myself, on average, am doing about three sessions a week. Yep. I kind of set my schedule up that way, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so I can have Friday fun day. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm doing about 120 sessions a year is really what I'm doing right now, mm -hmm. which allows me a lot of time to be able to have vacation, spend time with my family. There are definitely days that I set, spend prepping and focusing on other things for my implementer business. So it's not like I only work 120 days a year because right. there are definitely other days that I need to be doing work for sure. And then most implementers have Mondays as yes. our buffer days which is a Dan Sullivan term that we use for the entrepreneurial time system. And yes. so we have Monday calls on Mondays and most implementers are doing biz dev on 100%. Mondays. And well, sometimes all the time, you're kind of always doing business development. And when we talk about EOS, we have three uniques. So that's one of the tools that we teach in a marketing strategy. And our three uniques are vision, traction and healthy. So can you tell me a little bit about those three things and, and how they come out to play with a, with a client? Well, quite honestly, Mark, I ultimately start every session reminding my clients what those are. You know, vision from the perspective of getting everyone 100% on the same page, moving in the same direction. But that's not only where you're going, how are you gonna get there? Yeah. And repeating that and resonating that with that leadership team that's in front of you is so important. And traction is simply about execution results and making things happen. <laughs> yeah. And healthy is about being a healthy, cohesive leadership team, all working together for the greater good of the business. Yeah, to make that vision a reality. Yes. Yeah. And then as a leadership team, their roles and their job is to take that down to the ground to every employee that they have. So tell me a little bit about what are the, the mindsets? What are the psychographics of an EOS implementer? From an entrepreneurship standpoint, an implementer must, must absolutely have a passion for entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And so you have to have that energy to be able to work with entrepreneurial companies because they're all different, right? They all think different, they act different, but if you don't like entrepreneurs, then <laughs> probably not this the place is for not you. the job for you. <laughs> right. I mean, it, it's just not where you should be. Yes. And so the, the psychographic of us is someone who wants to help other people. It's really a help first mentality. Yeah. It's also growth. You know, I don't want to really work with a company that doesn't want to grow. Now, growth comes in different ways. Yeah. Growth is about, sure, top line revenue growth, but sometimes growth is their teams. Just getting along a little yes, bit better or? So, so I have to be able to also understand that people are very different. So as an implementer, the one thing I had to learn a lot from a psychographic was patience. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're all absolutely true. a little bit different. Yeah. And they and go at a different speed. Yes. They don't go the, as fast as you want them to go. They slow down sometimes. And <laughs> understanding it's about them, not about you. Yeah. That's right. So getting out of your own head and understanding this is about the team that's in front of you. Mm -hmm. That's why we're doing what you're, we're doing. So tell me a little bit about the ideal client for an EOS implementer. Who, who do we work with the best? Yeah, our ideal clients are companies that, well, are 10 to 250 employees. Mm -hmm. And my favorite part of it is companies and leadership teams that are willing to be open honest mm -hmm. and vulnerable. And the word willing is key because they're not always that when they first come in the room. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> no. So they need to be willing and when they are, then they become that open, honest and vulnerable. That's the that's what I'm looking for 
in the companies that I want to work with. And, and some implementers work with some large companies, billions of dollars in revenue and true. thousands of Very employees, true. and some are just two people in a, in a shed somewhere. <laughs> and it's true. They're, so, you know, 80%, you want 10 to 250 employees. We're all going to have outliers where there's smaller businesses. I have a fair amount of companies myself yeah. that are three to 1,300 employees. But the number one thing is that they're entrepreneurial. Yep. And they're willing to be open, honest, and vulnerable. And what is the moment in time that you're like, this is what I was put on this earth to do? What are those things that happen in a session room working with a client? Well, so working with clients, it was probably a year in. I mean, at one point, one year, I literally did 24 focus days in a year, mm -hmm. which was crazy. But when you realize that every business is different, and every company is just different. We like to say they're snowflakes, right? Yeah. And they really, really are. But when you start seeing how you're changing people's lives mm -hmm. and you're helping leadership teams absolutely come together and work together way better than they ever worked together before, and then you start seeing them break through ceilings, yeah. I mean, it's so humbling. It is so unbelievably grateful that I get to do what I do every day. So I guess, you know, I go on my soapbox, sorry, but <laughs> no, you know, that's so just what it's I love good. to do. Yeah. And and for me, I spent six years as an implementer and the the times that they break through the ceiling and it's both professional and personal. I've had clients who freed up enough time where they could adopt children and yes. spend time at the soccer games and never miss those events anymore. Right. And those, those types of moments for your clients and then for other implementers around you, seeing that happen is, is absolutely a, a gift. And they're grateful. Uh, not, you know, clients sometimes, if you've run other businesses, are not particularly grateful for your services. These are times where it creates so much freedom for you. Yeah. They're grateful for you, and it's just a, a, a great experience. It is, and you know, personally, one of the things I love being is their accountability coach. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you definitely like to, you know. <laughs> yeah, because you know they get scared of you, and they're they're, they're make sure they yeah. show up with all their tools in line. They make sure they have yeah. everything ready. They want to make sure they get their rocks done. But it's fun. It's fun kind of being that you know, accountability couch holding them accountable. Yes. And when you are that third party, you're the objective observer. An implementer has three roles, right. teacher, facilitator, and coach. And that coach piece, they are just performing a little bit better for you because Correct. they know they're going to have Correct. to stand in front of CJ in the next 90 days. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't miss a rock or you can't miss right. a number, otherwise they're going to be in trouble. I used to have my clients do push-ups every now and again, you know. Oh, <laughs> mine just have to run around the block a couple times. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what I loved about being an EOS implementer for the, the six years that I was an implementer and now as visionary, helping other entrepreneurs, helping other implementers live yeah. their ideal lives, there's a few things that came to mind for me, and that was helping people. I just loved helping people, those aha moments that occurred in the session room and now with implementers. And what that enables is a life of freedom. When you're an EOS implementer, I would just walk out of the room, no to-dos, nothing, and you're compensated in a way that allows and enables that, that freedom. You live the EOS life. So CJ, for you, what, is, what are the things that make you love being an EOS implementer? So I love being an EOS implementer for so many reasons I probably couldn't cover them all here. Yeah. Um, but quite honestly, it is knowing I'm making a difference mm -hmm. in a person on the leadership team mm -hmm. and for that leadership team as a whole, which ultimately is making a difference for the company. Yeah. Right? That company is now being able, and I get to see it. I get to see watching them change and watching them grow. But to your point, I walk in, I know how to do the session, and I get to walk out without any to-dos. But I will tell everyone, it's heavy lifting. It's heavy lifting for them to implement EOS in the beginning because you're teaching them something new and different that they haven't done. But as an implementer, 
you also need to know you got to put in the work. The one thing I would tell an implementer who's watching this video and thinking about making that life change, it is extraordinarily hard to get started. And you have to be so clear on what it, it is that you want for yourself, the life that you want to live, that in days when you're not closing business, that yes. you keep coming back because you know the impact that you'll have on those companies, those entrepreneurs, those leadership team members. And if you stick with them for long enough, it'll impact their families and their children. You'll make a dent in the universe, but it's gonna be hard and you just need to stick with it. And the, you need to have that North Star yeah. to keep you coming back. So if any of this resonated with you and got you super excited, we would love to talk to you. Just go to our website and book a call with one of our support team members.